Hi, it's Nick for the Run Testers, and this is our first run review of the A6 Nova Blast 3. So the Nova Blast 3 is a pretty significant update on the Nova Blast 2, and that's really entirely thanks to the fact that ASICS has changed the midsole foam on the shoe. You're now using FF Blast Plus, uh, as opposed to the FF Blast on the Nova Blast. So the Blast Plus is lighter, bouncier, just generally a more impressive foam, and FF Blast is already a good foam, but this change you know, could really elevate the shoe to another level. Like I said, the weights come down like a fair bit. So the Nova Blast 3 weighs uh, 250 grams or 257 grams in my UK size nine. That's the difference between the two shoes I have, but that's basically eight ounces or just under eight ounces, whereas the Nova Blast 2 was uh, 289 grams in my size. You've got a 31 millimeter stack height at the heel, which drops to 21 at the forefoot for a 10 millimeter drop but ASICS doesn't include things like the insole in its stack height measurement so you know if this was another brand you'd probably see a stack height that was more in the kind of the upper 30s really and you can see by the way it looks how big the stack of foam is on the shoe. The shoe's £135 in the UK or $140 in the US which is you know pretty good value um, within ASICS's range and beyond but you know still not a very cheap shoe. You've got a pretty lightweight mesh upper with loads of padding around the heel but then a very thin tongue but yeah it is actually surprising how much kind of padding and cushioning you're getting around the heel there given that this is a pretty lightweight shoe uh, and then you've got an outsole that's fairly sparing with its rubber a lot of exposed foam there and it's not a very thick layer of foam that's to keep the weight down but you do have you know the Asics's Aha rubber in kind of all the key impact areas on the shoe obviously with a big stack of foam like this you're going to worry about stability there's some kind of plastic bits at the back of the shoe there to kind of lock the heel in a bit and and then these sidewalls on the midsole that your foot kind of sits within again to create a bit more stability when you're working with you know, a big stack of foam like this. So Mike and I have taken the shoe out for a first run today excited to see how it gets on you know you're getting a lighter shoe than Nova Blast 2 with a bouncier midsole foam slightly higher midsole stack so all things that could be quite an exciting update and should make the Nova Blast 3 one of the kind of more exciting new daily trainers released this year. So if it for me and Nova Blast 3, I would say absolutely spot on. Now I had the Nova Blast 2, I had that in a UK size 9 and that was definitely too long for me. So I can't really compare how a Nova Blast 2 and an 8 compares to the 8 and a 3. But for me, it was absolutely um, kind of spot on in terms of fit. I've got nice kind of space up front in the toe box, a good hold in the midfoot and it felt nice and comfortable at the heel as well. Obviously there's a few kind of changes around the upper. Um, I would say... The top of the upper feels a lot more snug or fits a bit more snug than the uh, previous one. Um, I think the laces um, felt absolutely fine. No kind of um, horrible kind of pressure on the top of my foot as well. Now the tongue has changed, so it's a little bit thinner obviously to reduce the weight, but that didn't really budge in my run as well. So yeah, fit for me, absolutely fine. Uh, in my UK size 8, I would probably say true to size. It felt absolutely kind of spot on for me. When it comes to the fit of the shoe, uh, I've got my normal size in Nova Blast 3 and it fits really well. Uh, there's a fair bit of room in the toe box there. It's quite long and uh, maybe the potential to go half size down, but I was very happy in my normal size in the shoe. and I had no concerns about slippage around the heel or midfoot at all on the run today. I'm about to head out and do my first run in the A6 Nova Blast 3. Pretty excited. Uh, feels like a really big update and what could be a very good shoe. Um, just got an easy 10K on the plan today. Uh, ahead of a big run tomorrow. So I'm just going to go and roll around my local streets and see how the shoe feels with that new and improved midsole. So just coming up towards 5K or so in the Nova Blast 3 and very much enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's... It's kind of what you expect or hope for from the shoe. It's really bouncy, feels like the previous one, feels more dynamic, lighter, more energetic. You get more back from the foam. It's, you know, I like the Nova Blast 2, but it did sometimes feel like it's a bit sappy. That big chock of foam, soft foam, and this foam gives a little bit more back, and I think it will make it a more versatile shoe. But obviously today we're just cruising along and it's very enjoyable, but I am interested to see if it will be good at pace as well. Very enjoyable first run in the Nova Blast 3. It's, like I said on the run, it's what I was hoping for. It is a kind of more exciting, bouncy shoe than its predecessor and a lighter one. It's, you know, that was just an easy run today, but there was moments when I was really itching to pick up the pace just to feel the bounce in the midsole. And it's, it's there, it should be very versatile. I'm looking forward to doing some faster work in it, but certainly can tick it off for the kind of easy base runs like that today. It was enjoyable to use. Only one concern I think on the entire run was, um, 
it's rained a lot overnight here and it's a bit kind of muggy and humid and a bit of a couple of slick pavements the grip didn't seem fantastic um but i haven't really noticed that as a problem with asic shoes before so i'll keep i'll try i'll look out for that in the full review but i was a bit surprised that it was a little bit kind of slippery on those slick surfaces so i'll see if that's a problem as we head into the kind of autumnal months here in the uk but yeah overall very strong first impression of the nova blast 3. So I've just done a pretty easy 10K in the Nova Blast 3. I did a couple of runs yesterday, including a kind of a hit style running session with Nick. So I was kind of taking it easy today. Um, now, I would say my overriding feeling with the Nova Blast 2 is that it felt a bit excitable, a bit too wild for me. I liked the fact that it was bouncy, but I think, you know, it didn't feel stable enough for me in the, in the same respects. It wasn't really balanced out, I don't think. I think that's totally different in terms of what you get or what I found in the Nova Blast 3 today. Um, you still get that bounce, you still get that enjoyable feeling, but I think it feels more controlled than it did before in the Nova Blast 2. And, I, you know, it felt, I'll be honest, it felt great. It's probably one of the best kind of first runs I've had in a while in a new shoe. Um, the ride just felt really smooth. I felt like a coast. Uh, it felt comfortable to run in. As I said, you still get that nice bounce in it, but I feel it's a little bit more kind of stable than it was in the Nova Blast 2. Uh, I think also you have to talk about the fact that there's extra foam in here. It's that FF Blast foam, but there's more of it. It's kind of an extra, I think, an inch of it, and it does make a difference in terms of that kind of softer feeling underfoot, but you still get that bounce as well, and it is lighter and it definitely feels lighter than the Nova Blast 2 which I think you know all the things you know added together I think make for a much better shoe I you know I had a really enjoyable run in this shoe overall in terms of the outsole I mean I was you know running on roads predominantly and it felt absolutely fine it's definitely a road shoe I did kind of slip out and go into a park and kind of go where we had a little bit of rain so it was slightly slippery so I wouldn't say it was totally fine uh, in terms of traction you know I didn't slip around but I could feel the difference in terms of that grip a little bit so I think nice dry road it's going to be absolutely fine kind of from that point of view but yeah all very positive really generally on the Nova Blast 3 I said I really enjoyed that run you know even though I you know, had, was running on pretty tired legs it felt really good I think the main thing for me is that it definitely feels a lot more controlled than the Nova Blast 2 I think you still get that enjoyable feel of running in it but it feels i think more you know more stable more you know it's a smooth ride enjoyable ride most importantly i think you know has all the hallmarks of being a much better i think daily trainer um based on my first run so initial verdict on the nova blast 3 and it's all very positive i do feel like this is going to be a really nice upgrade in the nova blast 2 i think you know obviously it's lighter there's more of that foam um i think you still get that those aspects and characteristics of the nova blast 2 but i think it's more controlled and it is still an enjoyable run as well and that's i think the most important thing it looks like it's gonna be a nice peppy kind of daily trainer again you know you can run quick in this shoe or you can kind of log a lot of distance in it as well and it's going to hold up from that point of view i think yeah you know this is a shoe i'm definitely looking forward to running in this could be a daily trainer that i use um you know we're in a competitive you know part of the kind of running shoe market at the moment but i think the nova blast 3 is really going to stand up against the best options uh, in this category so my early verdict on the nova blast 3 uh, is a positive one like i really am impressed by the changes made to the shoe it was enjoyable to use today for that easy run and i'm excited to get out and again and do some kind of more varied uh, training in it particularly some faster stuff some longer stuff and just see how that midsole feels at different speeds. Um, but yeah, it's a shoe that's got a lot of hype around it. I think that hype is pretty justified so far. Um, it's gonna be a really interesting addition to kind of the shoe market in the daily trainer area. It's, you know, it's a very well cushioned shoe that should be really comfortable for lots of training, but with a very energetic ride that should make it very versatile. And it's not the most expensive shoe in the world either. So, you know, it's not cheap, but I think it should represent pretty good value as well. So yeah, lots to look forward to in terms of running in the shoe. We'll get back to you with our full review as soon as we can and compare it to other favorites like the you know the endorphin speed the hokamak 5 puma velocity nitro 2 and just see kind of where it sits in comparison to those shoes and whether it's one of the best daily training options you can get that's it guys that's our first run review of nova blast 3 have you been using the shoe are you excited about it please let us know in the comments below please like subscribe ring the little bell so you get notified when we release videos and we will see you next time